Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome back to my channel. As you know, I make videos about health and healthcare topics and today I'm going to talk about urinary tract infections. And as you know, all my videos are directly referenced from internationally accepted US National Medical Library. And today we are going to talk about UTI in adults, right? It's a very common problem. Almost everyone has faced UTI at least once in their lifetime. So let's find out what causes UTI, how it is diagnosed, how it is treated in medical science, 100% scientific knowledge, very authentic. Let's go into it. The internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. So a urinary tract infection or UTI is basically an infection of the urinary tract. That means the infection can occur anywhere in the urinary tract. That means including either it might be in the bladder, right? Bladder is your urinary bladder. This infection in the bladder is called cystitis also or bladder infection. It might be in the kidneys in which it is called pyelonephritis or a kidney infection. It might be in one or both kidneys. It might be in the ureters. That those are the tubes which bring the urine from the kidneys to the bladder. And these are <coughs> ure ureters, right? But these are very rarely the only site of infection, right? There will be some other infection in kidneys or bladder as well. And then infection can be in the urethra. Urethra is the tube that empties urine from the bladder outside the body. This infection is also called urethritis. Okay. So what causes UTI? Most UTIs are caused by bacteria that enter the urethra and then the bladder that way. All right. The infection most commonly develops in the bladder. This can then spread into the kidney and most of the times your body can get rid of this bacteria very easily. However, certain conditions increase the risk of having a UTI. Women tend to get them more often because their urethra is shorter and closer to the anus than the men. All right. That's why unhygienic conditions can occur more easily because of this, right? They are more likely to get infection even after sexual activity or when using a diaphragm for birth control also, right? Menopause also increases the risk of UTI in women. That's why it's more common in women, right? UTI can occur more often. You might increase the chances of having a UTI if you have diabetes, if you have advanced age, and or conditions that affect your personal care habits such as Alzheimer's disease, delirium, or if you have problem emptying the bladder completely, if you have a urinary catheter, bowel incontinence, enlarged prostrate or narrowed urethra, or anything that blocks the flow of urine like a kidney stone or if you are uh, staying still or immobile for a long period of time, for example, while you are uh, recovering from a hip fracture or even in pregnancy or uh, surgeries like other procedures or other even uh, any surgery procedure involving the urinary tract. All these uh, situations you might uh, have an increased risk of having UTI. So what happens when you do have UTI? See, first of all, obviously you will have a cloudy or even bloody urine which may have a foul smell or even a strong odor, right? You might have low grade fever and some people it doesn't happen. Then pain and burning will be there with urination and uh, pressure or cramping will might be there in the lower abdomen or even the back, lower back. There will be a strong need to urinate very often even right after bladder has been emptied. You might have a strong need for urination. And if the infection spreads to your kidney, the symptoms may increase 
like you might have chills and shaking right or even night sweats you might have fatigue generalized uh, feeling of illness you might have fever high grade above 101 degree fahrenheit or 38.3 degree centigrade there might be pain in the sides back out or the groin right that kidney region or you might have a uh, red and flush warm skin even mental changes can happen confusion can happen uh, as a sign of uh, uti right in older people especially in older people that's the only sign most of the times then nausea vomiting can also happen you might have very bad abdominal pain sometimes with uh, the infection going into the kidney now how do we diagnose see most of the time you will need to provide a urine sample right because urine analysis is very important it is done to look for white blood cell red blood cells bacteria pus cells basically the, then we can also test for chemicals like nitrites in the urine uh, this test can diagnose the infection most of the times then uh, a clean catch of urine is needed for cultures right the test this test uh, cultures is done to identify the bacteria and determine the best antibiotic for which the bacteria is most sensitive or even to isolate the antibiotics which the like, bacteria is resistant to so that we might have the best chances of treatment right then blood tests such as cbc complete blood count blood cultures can also be done you may also need some other tests to rule out other kinds of problems in your urinary system like a ct scan of your abdomen sometimes ivp intravenous pyelograms kidney scans kidney ultrasound right voiding cystourethrogram something like these may be advised not always but sometimes then what is the treatment most important thing your doctor will first decide if the infection is just in the bladder or if it has spread to the kidneys and how severe is this if there is an infection only in the bladder mild infection in the bladder and even if, if there is mild infection in the kidneys most of the time you will need to take antibiotics this is to prevent the infection from spreading the kidneys also if it is have if it is if it hasn't spread there for uh, the simple bladder infection you will take antibiotics for 3 days uh, for women and uh, for men 7 to 14 days antibiotics are needed yeah that's the thing longer urethra more antibiotics uh, if you are pregnant or having diabetes or have a mild kidney infection you will most often take antibiotics for 7 to 14 days finish off your all your, all your antibiotics and then even if you feel better don't stop your medicine finish your whole course right if you do not finish the whole dose of medicine the infection may return and next time it will be harder to treat that's why there are recurrent utis more in many people so then always drink plenty of water when you are having a bladder or kidney infection right tell your doctor uh, if you are pregnant that's most important or if you are taking any other drugs or medicines uh then if you have a recurrent bladder infection right this that happens in some women who have rip recurrent infection then you have to take a single shot of an antibiotic after sexual contact to actually prevent infection this this is actual recommendation a single shot of an antibiotic after every sexual contact to prevent an infection you might have to have a 3 day course of antibiotic at home uh, to use if you develop an infection and to take a single daily dose of antibiotic to prevent infection for some time right then if you have a very severe more severe kind of kidney infection then you may need to go uh, to a hospital and if you are very sick cannot take medicines by mouth or if you cannot drink enough water fluids then you need to be admitted if you are an older adult then it's very important that uh, you have your or if you have a kidney stone or changes in your 
you know anatomy of your urinary tract some something has happened stricture is there some pressure is there compression is there a swelling is there so that is not good sign right then even that time you have to get admitted if you have had recent surgeries of urinary tract or have a cancer diabetes have multiple sclerosis spinal cord injury or other medicinal procedures if you are pregnant and if you have a fever or if you feel otherwise ill then then still then also you should uh, consider getting admitted at the hospital you will receive iv fluids and antibiotics through the vein right and some people have utis and that do not go away right and that means that it will keep on coming back it will get treated then keep on coming back these are called chronic utis right if you have that then you need stronger antibiotics and you need to take them for a long time you may also need surgeries if the infection has caused a problem with the structure of the urinary tract so remember the best doctor for this kind of situation are urologists there are specific urologists now all right then uh, most utis can be cured don't worry about it bladder infections and uh, if you have those uh, symptoms of bladder infection they will go away within 24 to 48 hours after the treatment begins but do not stop your medicine and if you have kidney infection this will take approximately one week or longer for the symptoms to go right and if you stop infection don't take treatment then you might have complications and mind well urinary tract infections can have life threatening complications as well it might lead to sepsis right the risk is greater among the young or very old people and people whose body cannot fight infection especially like people who are fighting with cancer hiv aids uh, or uh, who are immunocompromised right uh then if you have actual kidney damage right that might happen as a complication kidney scarring can happen right renal uh, tubular uh, infection sorry the renal infection can become serious right so that is one we can have pus collection in the kidneys as well then that's why it is very important if you have back pain side back pain chills fever vomiting any kind of burning in your urine then go to a doctor okay is there any way to prevent uti then diet and lifestyle may actually prevent uti after menopause if you having like if a woman has menopause the woman may use estrogen creams around the vaginas to reduce the infection yes and uh, that's the only thing and a lot of uh, water you need to take a lot of water good amount of uh, Uh, salads and fruits right that will help prevent utis managing your weight keeping a hygienic uh, you know hygiene over that area is also very 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 important right so that's all about uti guys hope this video is helpful i am dr paramjit you are watching doctor education always subscribe share the my videos always like my videos and don't forget to you know uh, keep sharing promoting this channel it's your channel right all you need to do to stay connected is stay healthy right <laughs> take care